Hi friends, in this session I am going to show the demo of how to create uh, Jipkin server and uh, how to see logs in Jipkin server UI. So now I am going to create a new Spring Starter project. I am going to name it as uh, Jipkin server. Uh, it's already here. The name is Jipkin server and the version is 1.0.0. So I am clicking next and i'm selecting spring boot version 2.1.5 and finish so jipkin server uses uh, io.jipkin.java uh, group uh, dependencies so i'm going to pom.xml i'm going to add two dependencies one is jipkin server other one is jipkin auto configure ui so i'm going to add uh, those dependencies So I'm going to change this uh, group ID to iowa.jipkin.java and artified ID is jipkin server. And I'm using version 2.11.7. And similarly, I need to add one more dependency for UI, for Jipkin UI. I'm going to add the dependency. It's auto configure UI. So uh, to make our application as a Jipkin server, we need to enable, at the rate enable Jipkin server. We need to add that annotation it will work as a jipkin server so i have added the dependency and in application dot property i'm going to give my application name And default port it runs is 9411. So I'm going to add server.port. So I'm going to start my uh, application. So we are getting a uh, Renaming of one of the bean is or enable overriding uh, beans by setting uh, this property. So I'm going to enabling that uh, HTTP bean enabling by using this property HTTP auto configuration class. So I'm going to restart my server. So I'm going to uh, my application is started. It started in port nine four double one. Let me go to browser and I'll start the server. So we are able to see a uh, Jipkin server. But we, I'm able to see some law error in my console. It's saying Prometheus requires all the metrics of same uh, name and key tag already existing with the meter named HTTP server request seconds. So there is already one meter available as part of Chipkin and one more is getting through act Spring Boot actuator. So I'm going to disable that whatever is coming through Spring Boot using um, a property called management dot uh, matrix dot uh, web dot auto config server to false. matrix dot web dot 
server auto time request to false I'm going to restart my server and similarly I'll start my other applications to test my logs in Jip uh, to produce logs in Jipkin server So now all the services are started. I will go to Postman and hit uh, all the services so that it will go to Jipkin server. Similarly, I'll uh, put some load for uh, a core service also. Sorry, the endpoint is course. So now let me go to Jipkin server and see whether there are any logs. See, we are able to see uh, logs and uh, we have one failed request that also was there in this so the color is changed because it is failed it was giving in red color and i click on this it gives 404 what is the uh, http path is course service slash 4 and what is the status code and if you click more information it gives the trace id and span id and parent id let me go back here we can see all the services names we have three services and we can check for the duration and here we can give the HTTP path and how many calls you want to show on the UI all those things we can check so first I want to search for a student service so if I, for student service I have uh, three logs one is with the one span, uh, two calls with one span, and other one is with three span. So let me go and see uh, for this one. See if I go here uh, from student service, uh, we are calling core service and result service, and we are displaying the results. So if I click on this uh, student service, this is the HTTP app, uh, URL I have hit, and if I go to more information. This is the initial call that's why we will not be having any parent id parent id will be the null and we will be having trace id and span id both will be same so from student and we can see here it is servers receive and server send this is the basic uh, initial call so i'm going to start uh, call from student service to core service so if i go inside core service i here i can able to see uh, client send server receive and server send and client receive and this is the endpoint uh, it is calling to the core service and trace id will be the same id and span id it creates one more span uh, when client send request is uh, annotation is called and if you see parent id is the uh, span id which is there in the previous call that is student service call Similarly, if we come to result service, this is the endpoint uh, it was uh, hitting and we can see the trace id is the same one and it created one more span id for uh, um, result service and parent id is the span id which is there in the student service and inside uh, this service one more span will be created for servers uh, received to server send but we are not getting that we are not seeing that in uh, in this log info we were only getting that uh, client send to client receive uh, span id 
that's why it's showing only total three spans and depth is two we are calling two services and total services calling was three and the total duration took was 80 843.074 milliseconds and each service how much time it took it was showing and for errors it was showing in a different color if the success you will be seeing in uh, green color if i want to see the result service if i click on uh, we will be able to see only result service calls If it is only one span, it will be like a client send, sorry, a server send, server receive. It's only call from that starting point to end point. So server receives, server send. We can able to import that logs. Uh, um, we can search using the HTTP path, whatever the endpoint we are giving. Example, if I want to search for this, let me take uh, and copy from the service. The URL was this. HTTP dot path equal to sorry we are uh, this here I'll give also all spans Yeah, now we are able to retrieve. we should not give quotes double quotes and if I go here I should be able to see the HTTP path so I can search based on uh, service name or span name or the duration or the path all those things we can use uh, thank you friends